guys, it's Rock Chopper Gunner here from On The Ball Game and today I'm going to be starting a new career mode series in Manchester City. And this is not going to be a typical career mode, what I'm going to be doing is going to be selling every single player over the age of 23. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see if I can grow young players in career mode and I can only buy players under the age of 23. And I want to see what players grow to their full, poten what players grow to their full potentials and what they're like in game. So a lot of YouTubers do this, but they... Uh, they only um, sim it in the Australian League to get through quicker to see what their full potential is. So they don't actually don't even play with them. And I also set up the youth staff there as well to see if the game can give me a few young players that I can develop into uh, great young players. As you can see, I've set up the Global Transfer Network and uh, basically what I did there is put every position and then, and then just put promising. So this episode, I'm just going to be going through some of the players that I already know that are going to go up in potential and I've put in bids for loads of them. And basically, I know that I'm probably not going to be able to get all of them, but I might as well keep all my options open and putting, a, a putting in all the bids for these players. And basically, you know, in this episode, I'm just going to be showing you a few players that I will be signing and showing you what the squad will probably look like for the first game of the season and try and get my number one targets. But it's going to be hard because the squad is, uh, is so big that I'm going to have to sell all the players and bids are going to have to go in. So as you can see, I just signed Benzia from Olympic Lyon. And I signed uh, Paul Pogba as well. I gave them Yaya Torre and nothing. And I signed Benzia for 1.5 million. And we also get Bakley who goes up to about 91. Who's 17 and he's a promising young player. We get the pay. We get him. Uh, we spot from James Milner. And we get the young promising left back Luke Shaw for Southampton. Who everybody knows. And we also get uh, Jonathan de Santos. Barcelona have him on transfer list. But he gets up to around 82. And Cancelo. Um, is a good uh, right back. I've had him a lot. I've used him a lot, and he's a great right back. And we signed Jan Allblack from Benfica. I'd be interested to see how he does. Varane, big young centre back, as well. We signed as well, and we signed Julian Draxler as well. Another good young player that can play in a variety of positions. Williams, uh, a left back from PSV Eindhoven. The Air Divisi produce a lot of good players as well. Scruffit is a goalkeeper. Um, uh, Got a guy of Basel there as well, Shar. And basically, guys, there's a squad after signing all the t t top play uh, young players. And I'll keep like Yavatich and all because they're they could come in handy. David Silva's there because nobody bought him yet. And we signed Gall, the likes of Ross Barkley, um, Kovacic, um, Marshall, the Shilio, um, Varane, obviously, was there mentioned, um, Backley. And if you want to pause it, guys, and see what their overalls are and what price around you can get them, feel free to do it. And, you know, I've wanted to do this because I wanted to see how players can grow and how uh, what they're like in-game. Like, their rate might look good, but their in-game stats, um, like, in-game, they might not be a as good as what they are in um, on their uh, stats. And as you can see there, I'm just going to show you the transfer negotiations between uh, the clubs. Successful negotiations, obviously a lot of successful negotiations, a lot of unsuccessful negotiations. It's a very frustrating thing where, since Man City have got such a big squad, that I had to keep selling players. I, I know it was the whole point of it, but like I couldn't sign some players because my squad was full and nobody was coming in for bids. Like I had like the likes of Silva up on transfer lists and still nobody was coming in. And basically, I'm just going to set up uh, the youth, uh, the youth staff, and send them out to countries. Uh, I'm going to send this lad out to England for um, nine months and see what he can uh, give me there. I'm um, doing this as well, guys, to see what uh, my scouts can give me and how good is this. Can uh, these people uh, go out and get me young uh, players? Basically, what they do is they go and get 15 and 6 year olds that aren't actually real players, go out and get them, and they could become top, uh, top class players. Yeah, and you know, uh, going out there to see if they can give me uh, good players. I'm just going to show you the global transfer network just before um, we finish up. And um, basically, you know, um, just a quick little video just to show you guys um, what I'm going to be doing um, with this career. Model. I'm going to show you um, a good few of the games. Probably, um, like, I'll show you the first three games of the season, then I'll show you probably every uh, tenth game. Uh, or something like that, every five or something and you know I've been looking forward to doing this as you can see they're, the, they're getting me um, uh, give me good young players I just put on promising and um, 
certain age, 23 or lower. And as you can see, just going through the players there, if, if you want to uh, look at these players, just pause the video, as I said. And basically, guys, that's basically uh, it, guys. You know, can't wait to get into more details of this series in the next video. Probably up today, uh, I mean, not today, um, the, tomorrow or the next day. And you know, I'm really looking forward to this series. There'll be a lot more videos coming up on this series. If you want the series to continue, uh, s smash the like button and please like, subscribe, and goodbye.